Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Heyduk, and this is tip number 57, Load Form and Load Tab Web Form Step Types. Web forms allow you to build complex, multi-page, multi-entity, wizard-style forms for your Power Apps Portals. In this tip, I'll cover the Load Form and Load Tab Web Form Step Types. Load Form and Load Tab are similar. They both allow you to present a form to the user based on a form configured as part of your model-driven app. Load form will present the entire form, and load tab will present just the selected tab. Once you select either of these options, you'll see the form definition tab. Here, you first select the mode, either insert, edit, or read only. Next, you select the form, and if necessary, the tab you want to display. One way to quickly generate a web form with multiple steps is to use the Auto Generate Steps from Tabs option. This will automatically add additional steps to your wizard based on the tabs of the model driven form without having to configure any more web form steps. If you selected Edit or Read Only as the mode, you'll need to define the record source. Options include via a query string parameter, the current contact record, a record related to the current contact record, or a record from a previous step. If you selected Insert as the mode, you can choose to associate the newly inserted record with the current contact using the settings in the Associate Current Portal User on Insert section. In the Additional Settings section, you'll find more configuration options like making all the fields required, enabling tooltips, and the ability to control messaging like the validation summary header and the record not found message. On the Form Options tab, you'll see settings for adding CAPTCHA, customizing the title in the progress indicator, button styling and text, as well as the ability to include custom JavaScript. The Entity Reference tab allows you to associate the current record with others, including records from a previous step, a record related to the current contact, or based on details in a query string parameter. Finally, the Additional Functionality tab provides options for action button configuration, file attachments, login of user info, auto numbering, and geolocation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 57 on the load form and load tab web form step types useful.